You hit a hurdle, you owe me two push-ups. You hit all five, you owe me 10. Math lesson this morning. Quick, quick, stick your landing, stick your landing. You gotta stick your landing, there you go. Switch line, switch line, stick your landing. You're going to each line, to each line. Uh-oh, that's four push-ups, four push-ups. When Kozak first came, we didn't know what to expect. He's very enthusiastic about working with us, and um, he's very fun. When we come to the weight room at 6 o'clock in the morning, he, he's hype, and that's what we like, to wake us up and get ready to work in the morning. Yeah! Hey, hey, you felt it. You can get it there. He's so happy in the morning. Like, you can't help but be happy when you walk in there. It's like he's messing with you, and then we all start messing with each other, and it just becomes a different vibe. It doesn't become a workout. It's more of a let's get after the workout versus us having to do a workout. Here you go, Cal. Here you go, Cal. It's a clinic over here. It's a clinic over here. Zach, he comes in every day with like this positive attitude. He said this thing to us in the weight room, every day that you walk in to work out, that you're blessed because somebody wishes that they were in your spot. Every day that I work out, I try to come in there with the same mindset. He always brings that energy every single day, so why not give it back to him? Let's get it going. Work on three. One, two, three. Work. Let's go, y'all. Let's have a good one. And that is an inside look at what this guy is all about. Zach Zilner, the head strength and conditioning coach with the Texas women's basketball program. we got to start right there, though, at 6 a.m. All the players are saying, you come in, you've got that energy. So where does that juice come from at 6 in the freaking morning? You just got to be the thermostat in the weight room. If I want them to bring that high tempo energy, I sure as heck better be bringing it as well. <laughs> is it natural or do you have a little caffeine to go along with it? A big uh, black coffee guy. But yeah? I think uh, just the excitement with working with this group is uh, – uh, all the energy I need. So let's get into philosophy. Sum it up for me, your core belief and what you try to do with this program day in, day out. I think training wise, it's uh, efficiency of movement. So the better they can move, the quicker they're gonna be on the court, the better they can defend. Um, the more able they're able to do the stuff that Coach Aston wants from them. Yeah. Um, also, I just want that energy to be brought. It's more fun when uh, we're all enthusiastic and yelling and uh, having a good time. How about your philosophy in terms of coaching different body sizes, body types differently, different position groups differently. Uh, we're lucky here to have uh, some of the world's best sports uh, science technology, um, which we can adapt every program to the athlete specific program, not just sports specific, but athlete specific program. Okay, how about your mentor? I mean, I'm sure there's someone that you've learned from in your past that has helped pave the way to get you to this point. I was lucky enough at my time at the University of Kansas, uh, I had a great mentor, Andrea Hooty, um, which let me basically watch her for the last 10 years trying to get better in the field. How about that, though, the transition, making it in conference with a place like Kansas, coming to the University of Texas? What was that adjustment like? It was crazy. I'm from Kansas, so um, Texas was a totally different situation for me. But once I was on the phone with Coach, I knew it would be a great fit. And then you come in, this is your first year, so there's a buy-in process for all these players that you really have to sell yourself and what you're trying to do to them. When did you feel like you had won the team over and that they were bought in to what you were trying to do? I think once I would get texts on our off days asking if they could come in extra, usually don't get that. Um, and with this group, tons of them would come in on our off days and just try to do little things to get better. So let's get into that, the grinders. Who would you say does the best in terms of having that work ethic that's unrelenting? List and that you know they're going to put in the extra work outside of what you require. Who does that best? I think if you watch our team, it's pretty obvious. It's the senior class. Um, all three of them are looking to get that slide edge, whether it's getting in the gym extra, putting up shots, getting the gym extra with me, lifting weights, working on the mobility. Um, they're just willing to go that extra mile to see this team succeed. How about the most naturally gifted athlete that you've been around here at the University of Texas? Uh, LaShawn Higgs, no doubt. Um, she does, does stuff every day that I'm just wowed by. Um, it's really cool to see. All right, so looking forward now, you see what this group is slowly becoming, but you also know there's still a lot of work to do. What is your emphasis now for the rest of the season in this point um, in time in terms of what you are trying to develop or maintain with their physicality? Uh, keep that championship culture. We need to see our eye on the prize and trust that it's a process where, you know, a little over halfway through the season, we need to keep grinding, um, getting our way to that final goal. And so now, Many things that you do is, is somewhat behind the scenes. You're not the coach that's out there like Karen Aston is, but your imprint is all over this program. So when people watch 
at home, what can they see in the way a team plays to let them know that the strength and conditioning coach is doing their job? I think the little things, physicality, um, if they're willing to get on the floor and dive after loose, loose balls, I think uh, it's a whole mentality thing of toughness, which we try to instill in practice and in the weight room. So who's the most likely to do that, to go after that loose ball, that mentality to be that nonstop grind? I think you can find Ariel Adkins all over the floor, all over uh, every night, which is cool to see. All right, finally, what's the best part about living in Austin, Texas? I don't know, man. I think there's just so much to do, uh, whether you can go paddle boarding, hiking, um, just the great weather. Is, it's an awesome place to be. As long as you have that black coffee to get exactly, you started that off black at 6 a.m. Central Time. That's unbelievable. Unreal that you can bring that kind of energy that early. Zach, we really appreciate the time. Thanks for having me.